what is then what well, i mean what are the common and what are common risks challenges um associated with mlops mlops projects <laughs> that's a good question so in general i think one challenge is the amount of tools i would say in the last couple of years the amount of tools of mlops exploding you have tens of maybe yeah, a lot of tools actually for every activity in the life cycle yeah. so it's very hard to get a signal out of the noise also, unfortunately, what we see is in the landing page, all these new vendors, of course, promise everything. They list out a lot of functionalities that we would need. Nevertheless, when you install them and use them for a couple of, of days or hours, you realize that there was an overstatement. <laughs> it was a bit the performance. Because of, of that, in our side, it's not enough to compare landing pages, but actually we install the tools that we consider are the most interesting ones. And we define a clear evaluation criteria and we compare them basically in all these and dimensions like easy of use, easy of setup, et cetera, et cetera. We have for every activity in the life cycle, a different assessment criteria. The problem with that is that it's very time consuming, right? Because installing a tool, having to test it, maybe even have an example use case and try it out takes a lot of time, but we figure out that's the only way. Otherwise it's a bit complicated at the moment. Yeah. The number of tools is that the biggest challenge then and i guess the integration part would be associated to that yeah so there are different options actually when you're doing ai projects because for example you have also tools that are end-to-end -end that involve every single step that you need yeah. and they have their own proprietary activities in the life cycle and of course the challenge with them is that they are quite expensive so they are commercial tools so mm -hmm. the open source tools tends to be basically a bit slimmer in that sense they have only one two or a couple of activities of the life cycle the problem with that is that then you have to, to basically glue them together, right? To make sure that they talk to each other in a smooth way. So I would say the integration part is also a challenge, but lately we have had more and more tools that are actually focusing on these integration aspects, which makes our life easier. But still, I think okay. there's a lot of work for it. Cool. And then I'll see, because of the, I guess the hype, well, generally, oh, there's a lot more tools that have come out. Is that impacted? Like the ML ops, like life cycle, has it made it eat like faster or quicker to do implement? Or does it create more work? Could you repeat the question? I couldn't grasp it. As like, with the like Gen AI now, we've got, there's a lot more tools on the market. Has that made the, like the process even longer or has it been able to speed it up in terms of, cause you've got the more tools available to uh, integrate. Yeah, that's a good, also a good point. So in the case of Gen AI, I would say the life cycle is also very similar. The only difference, so the phases are the same, but you have a few more activities inside the phases. For example, from engineering or fine tuning models and so on, there are activities that you didn't have before. Nevertheless, I would say the cycle remains similar. It's just a bit deeper with more activities to do. Of course, the challenge there is that we have more activities that mean more aspects or dimensions where to evaluate tools. That means we have tools for more activities as before. Yeah, so that's, I would say, the, the main challenge.